Hi, this is Mr. Max. I am doing a quick examination question on uh, trigonometry. So, um, this question right here is showing four towns or four cities in Africa, W being Windhoek, L being Lusaka, H being Harare, and J being Johannesburg. Then the distance from Windhoek to Lusaka is 1,400 kilometers. The distance from Windhoek to Harare is 1,600 kilometers. But then you have further information like, for example, angle L, W, H is 13 degrees. And then you have angle H, W, J is 36 degrees. And lastly, you have W, J, H is 95 degrees. Okay, so they ask us to calculate the distance LH. So effectively, we are looking for this distance over there. So I just took that triangle and I just um, remove it from the main diagram. So what you're seeing here is you're supposed to use the cosine rule or the law of cosines. So in order for us to find LH, I hope you're familiar with this formula. So in this particular case, LH square will equal to 1,400 square plus 1,600 square minus 2 times 1,400 times 1,600. And that should multiply by the cosine of the angle A, which happens to be 13 degrees or angle at W there. So grab your calculator so that you do not make a mistake, okay? And it's always easy to uh, punch everything if you have a scientific calculator, just as is. And then uh, since this is um, a scientific calculator, it's going to give me the answer regardless. Okay, so I'm just punching in the values. And please make sure your calculator is in degree mode here because these angles are in degrees times the cos. You don't have to say times, but you can put times there. The cos of 13, the cos of 13 degrees. Well, so you get a, an answer there of 154,000. 154, um, well, you just have to see. 822, 822.1098. Now remember this is LH square, but we are looking for LH. So in order for us to find LH, we have to take the square root of this whole answer over here. Okay. So again, grab your calculator, simply say, uh, square root of answer is 393. So that's 393 point. Let's just go back to the calculator. 474408. And now you can actually go ahead and you can give this answer to a degree of accuracy that makes a little bit more sense. So in this case, I'm going to leave this answer to three significant figures. So that is correct to three significant figures. All right, so there is a B part. So I've also included the formula that we are going to use for B. And we're gonna use the sign rule or the law of signs. Now, what is important is with the sign rule, you should have a triangle with an angle and a distance. Here you've got an angle and a distance. That is why I completed that part. But this little part here that I've indicated can be calculated. And if you use the angle sum of a triangle, that is 36 degrees plus 95 degrees plus 49 degrees, this is going to give you the 180 that is required. Okay? So if you want to know where the 49 comes from, simply say 180 degrees minus 36 minus 95. Of course, that gives you the 49 degrees over there. Now, that is where I have the scenario. So, in order for me to find WJ, we are going to say 1,600 upon sine of 95 
We're going to multiply this simply by the sign of 49. Of course, remember, you're looking for a side, you put the, the unknown on top. If we were looking for an angle, this sign of the angle would have been on top. So it's simply a matter of grabbing the calculator to find what that distance is. Okay, so again, let me just clear this. So it's 1,600 upon the sign of 95. Again, make sure your calculator is in degree mode. Multiply that by the sign of 49. So all these answers, 1, 2, 1, 2. So it gives you 1, 2, 1, 2 point. Let's just go back and get it. The rest of it, 1, 4, 7, 9, 1, 7. 1, 4, 7, 9, 1, 7, 1, 4, 7, 9, 1, 7, all right, 9, 1, 7. So that is kilometers as well. So again, I can give to three significant cubes, which is 1,210 kilometers. This is to 3SF. All right, so uh, I'm just going to keep that value of the calculator for the next part. So they ask us to calculate the area of the whole shape. So what I've done is I have divided it into two triangles, right? And I know from my previous work that the WJ is one, two, um, one, two, one, two point. Now you can go ahead and use the round one, but I am going to use my calculator value so that I do not have an issue of premature rounding. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to calculate the area of these two triangles using that formula over here. But I'm going to start with triangle 2 since I have that on the calculator. So the area of triangle WHJ, WHJ, whatever you want to label it, will be half times 1,600 times 1, 2, 1, 2 point. 1, 4, 7, and so on. And then we're going to multiply that by the sine of 36 degrees. Right? And in the first instance, the first one, I'm going to say the area of triangle, now the one on top there is indicated, WLH, that is uh, WLH, or however you want to label it, would be 1,400 times 1,600, half of that, multiply in this case by the sine of 13 degrees. Okay, so once I have those two triangles, the, the area of those triangles, I'm going to then simply add them together to get the area of the shape. So since I have that, I'm going to use this one for area number two. So I'm going to multiply that by 1,600. Then I'm going to multiply that by a half. Then I'm going to multiply that by the sine of 36. All right, let's see what it gives me. 569986. So it's 569986. Of course, um, there's still some more. 1354. So 1354. And of course, this is square kilometers. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the first one the first triangle, so to speak, so I'm going to say half of 1,400, well, let's just say 1,400, times 1,600, times the sine of, in this particular case, 13 degrees. Okay, 251945. So it's 2, in fact, uh, let's just change that to black. So it's 2, let's go back and get the answer, 51945. 251945. Well, of course, there are still some more stuff there. Let's get the stuff there. 1809. 1809. Of course, this is also square kilometers. Now that I have those two, I'm suddenly going to add in order for me to find the area. So I'm going to say, um, in this particular case, maybe the, the area of, as indicated, uh, what they ask us, WJHL, WJHL, would be 251945.1089, add 
986.1354. So this is the area, and the sum of these is going to give me uh, everything that I need. So I've added it up, it's 821,931.3163 square kilometers. So you can go ahead and give your answer to three significant figures, and that will give you 822,000 square kilometers, this being correct to three significant figures. All right. Now, of course, there is a D part to this answer. They say the bearing of Lusaka from Bunduk is 060 degrees. And as you can see, I've indicated in red here, that that angle there is 60 degrees. Now, one of the things you should remember when they ask you to find the bearing of, say, Harare from Vindu, you have to go to Vindu. That's why I put from, after the word from. So I go to Vindu, and this blue is in the indicator of the angle or the bearing that I'm looking for. So it's always you go to the place after the word from, and then you go from the north line in a clockwise direction. And if you can see that this angle here is an acute angle, but if you give it as a bearing, so you can say, okay, that will be 60 degrees plus 13 degrees, but as a bearing, it will be 073, because you should always give your bearing to three figures, as three figure. Right. Then uh, let's simply one more question. Then when they ask you to find the one from Joe from Vin, the bearing of Venduk from Johannesburg, so it is this one that I indicated in blue over here. That's the particular angle that we are looking for. Then I also indicated to you the straight angle of 180. So if I could somehow find what this dotted angle is, of course you should be familiar with the alternate angle. So this whole angle here. The 60 plus 13 plus 36. And if you have to add it, 60 plus 13 plus 36. Well, all of this gives you 109. So in effect, if this whole angle here is 109 degrees, then this angle here is also 109 degrees because they are being alternate and alternate angles are equal. Now, having said that, for me to find the bearing of Vinduk from Johannesburg simply means I must add 180 plus 109. So I will be saying 180 degrees plus 109 degrees. Of course, this is going to give me the answer that I'm looking for, which in this case is 289. Okay, I hope that this question has helped you a bit because it encapsulated everything on the ordinary that you need to know, the area or formula of a 90 degree triangle, the sine rule, the cosine rule, and of course, you also had bearings in there. All right, the beauty of this question is you can always pause the video and attempt to do it on your own. Stand by for more videos of this nature.